Okay, so this here is the tilt hydrometer, digital hydrometer. Um, just small enough to fit in your glass carboy, which I like. This is the box that it comes in. Pretty neat. Tells you what color it is on the outside. Um, that's probably not good for it. But um, so it's asleep when it's in the vertical mode. Uh, take your um, cell phone as long as it has Bluetooth 4.0. Um, enable your location services and your Bluetooth. And then turn your, open the app. <clears throat> It'll start scanning to see what tilts are within range. Uh, like I said, it's in sleep mode right now. Watch when I drop it into the water. You'll see the green light flash telling me that it's ready for a brew and uh, that it's awake. And then uh, you'll also see the tilt app acknowledging that the tilt is there. I think I put it in upside down. That's my mistake. <clears throat> Give it a second to wake up. And there we go. Um, it's in room temperature water I got from my tap. Um, you see the temperature and the specific gravity right there. Um, <clears throat> if you go into settings here in the app, um, it's got some things in there. Um, enter cloud URL. This is the URL you're going to get from your Google Sheets program if you're trying to post your data to the cloud. Um, which I'm still working on um, perfecting, um, I think add point here for your calibration point is um, to calibrate it, but I'm not 100% sure, I'm sure somebody will correct me on that. It's pretty close to calibrated right now, if, if not perfect, I don't know. Um, I'm not too much worried about that decimal right there. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it's it's doing pretty good. Um, I've already brewed one beer with it. It worked absolutely fantastic for me. I like it a lot. It's got a range of about 25 to 30 feet. Um, nothing but good things to say about it. So when it comes time to start posting data to the cloud, um, go to the Tilt website and click uh, Guide. And it'll take you here. Click Posting Data to the Cloud. This will, link will take you to the Google Sheets app. And there's some um, instructions. Um, the instructions are basically going to tell you to make a copy of this. Okay. Now that I've got my copy, I'm going to go to Tools, Script Editor, <clears throat> and I'm going to deploy this as a web app. Um, yep, sure, that's the plug for my 3D printing company. Um, anyone even anonymous right there deploy it needs permission to access my data on Google allow now I have a web URL copy the web URL and what I did was email it to myself that way I can open it up on my cell phone um, and then plug it into the Tilt app, which I guess I'm going to have to do here. And you can close that. I'm actually going to email this to my personal gmail account there we 
there's the link there. I'll put the tilt in my water and then open my cell phone, tilt app code. Copy link, go into my tilt app, scanning for tilt, scene, go to settings, cloud URL, scroll over and delete the last one so that I can complete this demo. Paste. Click the box that says check here to start logging data to the cloud. And we should now see Sorry about that. I I don't know what I did, but I um I just well here's what I did is I checked and then unchecked the um, box that says click here to start logging data to the cloud. So whatever that did, it it updated. So now I've got my specific gravity, temperature, color, and um, let's see here. Chart's gonna look dumb right now because there's only one data point. Um, so today's January 6, twenty seventeen. Specific gravity because it's sitting in some water is 1.0. Um, I think I can post comments to the cloud. Don't exactly know how, but I can add points by clicking add point here on my cell phone in the app, and you see those points arrive on the screen there. There's a really awkward angle, but I'm just trying to show you how how it actually updates. I don't know if they um, intended it to work this way, but if you go into settings and then um, uncheck this box to log data to the cloud and then recheck it, you'll see that it, it starts um, putting those data points when you recheck it it starts adding those to your, your Google app. Um, so that's how to do that. Like I said, I don't know if that's how they intended it to be used, but it works.